Welcome to the NRL previews for round six of the 2024 season. I'm Renee Garten and I'm joined by Josh Mansour to unpack all the games this week. And now we dive into the Sharks and South. So pressure is mounting on South at the moment. Uh, and it's definitely forced Demetrio to make quite a few moves. The, the axe is well and truly being swung. For the South fans, though, what are some of the positives that they can sort of look to coming into this game with some of the new phases and, I guess, shifts in positions? Well, Jai Gray is uh, an excitement machine, you know, playing at fullback. Um, great to see him get his first crack in the NRL. Um, and Tyrone Back, um, you know, played three impressive games for the Rabbitohs last year. He had a bit of a collarbone issue. I think he broke it in pre-season, but it looks like he's fit and healthy and ready to fire for the Rabbitohs from this game. Yeah, you know, the, like the Rabbitohs have been copping a fair bit of brunt at the moment. They are sitting at the bottom of the ladder. Um, you know, they, they definitely have a few issues going around them at the moment, but, you know, there's a big opportunity here to kind of un unsettle the Sharks. Um, yeah. The, the back, there's no secret, the back's against the wall, you know, like they, they've got a few um, uh, guys in that team that can make a difference with Jack Wyden, Keelan Kolmatungi, Tom Burgess, the list goes on and I feel like the, the promising sign is it's still early days, you know, like we're still, what, round six, so, you know, the, the, the alarm bell shouldn't be ringing just yet, but I feel like the, the noise is louder is because everyone's got the same question as us, right, they've got a star-studded side while they're sitting at the bottom of the ladder and, um, you know what, the best way to silence all those critics is to win games. And you look at a player like Damien Cook who's been dropped, he's an 18th man coming into this game. The attitude in one of the interviews that he, I think he had this morning was really good. Yes, I'm, I'm human, I'm angry, I'm upset, yeah, I'm frustrated, course, yeah. but... I knew I wasn't playing my best and now I've just got to work my way back into it. It's, it's a really good reflection of what he is as a player. You said it. Um, yeah, reflecting definitely get the opportunity now for Damien and he hasn't been in this position for a few seasons, mm. years. So for him to go back, look at himself and just, you know, rectify a few key areas in his game gives him that opportunity. But yeah, you know, like no one wants to get dropped. Um, you know, I've been in the same position as Damien. It is um, a gut-wrenching feeling, but end of the day, it's, it's part of the game. It happens and... Um, you know, for Damien, I'm sure he's going to work harder than ever to get back in that side. All right. Well, let's uh, look at a side that will be working very hard on the weekend. The Sharks, they're fresh off the bye. And they're one team who can take some solace that they don't uh, have a lot of ins and outs. They have a lot of players returning to the fold. Mm. Um, a dangerous side for South to come up against is this Sharks. Yeah, I think the Sharks more blood in the water, no pun intended. Um, yeah, you know what, they were fresh off the bye. Um, they've got players returning, like you said, and they are looking dangerous. Um, you know, Nico Hines is back to his best. Um, when Nico's playing great footy, the whole team's playing good footy. And um, as well, like, they've got players like Kale Iroh back in, uh, in, in, the, in the back line there. And I played with um, Iroh um, in, in, uh, for Newtown last year, and he was my inside centre, and he had so much promise. He just couldn't... Jeez, he must have worked hard. Yeah. <laughs> he just couldn't get a crack, like, you know, you had um, Talakai there, you had Jesse Ramian, and now he's got that opportunity. Obviously, Talakai moving into the forwards, and I feel that's a great shift. Um, you know, Talakai's a damaging ball runner. Um, to play inside um, close to the ruck, I feel like, is his game and go-to. But, yeah, the Sharks are playing great footy. Um, they're a tougher side this year as well, I, I, I can see. Last year, they didn't really aim up to the teams, um, you know, in the top six. Um, but, you know, they've definitely shown great resilience, particularly with the upset when they played the Warriors early in the season. All right, so no doubt there you're on uh, the Sharks. Yeah, um, I still feel like it's a work in progress. Um, you know, with the, with the Rabbitohs, you know, they, they're copying. A, there's a lot of noise there at the moment. Um, they've got, yeah, Tyrone Mun Munro back in the side and, and Jai Gray who are really still unproven. Um, so I'm leaning towards the Sharks. All right, well, thank you very much, Josh. Uh, unmissable match hunts taking place all weekend. If you want to see this match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. And if you can't get to the game, you can watch it on Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 7.35 p.m.